mitigate climate crisis, the utilization of fossil energy has to be substituted by renewable energy sources as fast as possible. To this challenge, the project Renergetic responds with the concept of urban energy islands, based on the rationale that if every community generates the energy it needs more or less locally, the problem can be solved globally. Consequently, an urban energy island is a geographically delineated district that aims at achieving a high level of energy self-sufficiency while offering energy services to external grids when needed. Renergetic tackles this task by optimizing the generation and the composition of energy supply across the vectors electricity and heat and by distributing this energy efficiently. On top of this, energy demand is adapted to available local supply as much as possible, building on the acceptance or even the active support of the inhabitants of the energy island. The pilot site at New Docks in Ghent, Belgium, is a residential district developed in the historic harbour area in the city of Ghent and run by the company Clean Energy Innovative Projects, CEIP. It aims at a fully integrated sustainable energy system, optimizing across the three energy vectors, heat, residential electricity consumption, and collective electricity loads like EV chargers, district batteries, heat pumps, and so on. On the heat side, CEIP tries to minimize the operation of the gas boiler by employing waste heat from the nearby soap factory, by using self-produced biogas, and by optimizing the runtime of the heat pumps. These heat pumps form the connection between the heat vector and the electricity vector, and in future they will be operated using the Renergetic multi-vector, multi-objective optimizer. For the integration of waste heat, the collaboration of inhabitants is needed, as they have to accept that an automatic system operates their heating, depending on the amount of factory waste heat available, which might mean preheating or reducing the heat peaks at specific times. The use of electricity is optimized by charging the battery at optimal times. For example, when rooftop photovoltaics generate a lot of electricity or when there is a lot of cheap renewable electricity available on the grid while discharging the battery at bad times when grid power is unsustainable and expensive for example during the late afternoons or evening the collective power consumption of the district battery heat pump and collective ev charger network is in that way steered based on energy supply tariffs and peak load tariffs. For their electric vehicles, via data science, inhabitants get signals when charging is optimal to integrate electricity from local photovoltaics or renewable grid power. To amend this, CEIP electric vehicle charger data is used to simulate the adaption of the charging curve to the available capacity. When smart charging stations will be available, they will also take into account user preferences. All this is supported by the new docks inhabitants, some of whom meet on a regular basis in the energy focus groups to get informed about latest achievements and to commonly develop new ideas for increasing the self-sufficiency of their energy island. So, the new DOCS pilot tests the Renergetic modules for demand response for all three energy vectors, the social campaigning tools, and it tests the multi-objective, multi-vector optimizer.